What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You know, all the questions have been sending me. I really do appreciate it. And it really took me down just a kind of a, a trip on memory lane. Just looking back to, you know, how far I've come on my journey, kind of giving advice from where I was to where I, I, I am now. And I, I feel so much better overall. It's, it's really a bit surreal to look back on, you know, old photos or, you know, hear from you guys who are putting me in that mindset, I guess, a little bit. What we're going to address in the video today is that I've took a couple of just, uh, I guess, some of the more lighthearted, weird things that uh, I wanted to maybe just kind of talk about and, um, during my transition. Uh, that really, I guess, only someone like myself who's been through a, a transition would have noticed. Maybe it's something that you've seen every day and it's not a big deal to you. To me, it's just a bunch of small little weird things. I tried to pick a bunch of these that um, are a little uh, kind of off the wall and not something super common that you would think about, but maybe other people take for granted. But without further ado, I'll get right into it. <laughs> so number eight, no particular order, clothes. I mean, living most of your life as a dude, there's not a lot, unless you're super fashionable, you, you know, you got like the jeans and the shirt and the tie and you know, what else? With women's clothing, first off, I really miss pockets. Look, have you ever seen this? Like, let me know if you know what this is on this blouse. Do you see this thing? Do you know what that is? I never did. I was a terrible cashier and I would like snap them off. <laughs> well, pro tip, uh, in a lot of like women's clothing and dresses and things like that, or like, you know, just because the material or the wide part of the neck, that's actually to hang clothes. I never knew. Oh, guys clothes don't really have that. I, I totally didn't know. There's like subgenres of women's clothing. I mean, you got... You got rompers. I didn't know what a cardigan was before. Axie dresses, sundresses, like there's so many like genres. So everything from the pockets, the buttons are like when you're doing a button up shirt, are they're backwards, okay? One of the like small clothing subtleties, I guess I never really noticed. So, you know, that's the one down. <laughs> Number seven, the physical care you have to do since I've started living as a woman, like shaving is a whole different world, okay? Like if you've never shaved your legs before, it takes a minute. I mean, there's so much more to deal with than shaving your pits and all this kind of stuff. Like you know, as a guy, you can shave, you cannot, you know, big deal. It's a lot more work um, to be real and just overall physical care in general, really. In life as a dude, you get up, flop your hair around with some gel, brush your teeth, throw on some jeans, and out you go. You give your girl some hard times, but it takes a lot more work. I've, I've had to get up maybe an hour earlier every day for work and do my makeup and my hair is a lot harder to straighten. I would say, at least for me in my experience, I, I really feel like it's more physically hard to be female. It's definitely rewarding. So I don't know, you just gotta, I guess adjust to the, the bigger workload on that part. <laughs> Number six, branding and trends. And I, I think that that one is just something that, oh, okay, so keep in mind, a lot of these things that I'm gonna address from this point on are gonna be dealing with societal, stereotypical views on you know male and female stuff. Obviously, there's gonna be exceptions to every rule. Men and women can do and like and be whatever has nothing to do with, you know, who you are. Just, just go be happy, be a kind person. So these are just overall umbrella term views on the stereotypical norm in society, okay? That being said, so branding and trends, I guess I had to get used to not knowing, you know, what the cool thing was at the ladies at first, right? In dude world, you're like, oh, cool. That's a Shelby Cobra. That's the cool version of a Mustang. Cobalt tools are better and this and that. And when you transition and you start living in womanhood like later on i mean to you just you don't know about jc penny bag versus like a louis vuitton it's all the same to you at first you gotta like relearn like oh is this makeup better from walgreens as opposed to jeffree star or sephora they're all very superficial type of things but you know, if that's something that you're interested in, maybe if you're a fashionable person or something like that, you may have to relearn some of this stuff unless you're super trendy. I really wasn't a super trendy person and a lot of that was kind of lost for me. So I didn't know what Michael Kors was or any of that kind of stuff. And um, I don't know, like what you like. If you like something, go for it. But yeah, the trends and stuff, gotta relearn those, I guess. At number five, 
one thing that you don't really notice until you have to change some stuff going through the processes of changing your name and your papers and your licenses and all this kind of stuff down the line of some of the things that are going to change. I had to change my insurance uh, for both my vehicle and my home. And now my auto insurance went down, but my home insurance went up. I guess just by being a woman, I'm apparently a better driver, but more prone to like burn down the house. <laughs> really not a big deal. And it was really only a couple bucks of a difference, but I did think it was a little bit funny. It's companies are going to have some sort of um, like setup where they look at the statistics and, oh yeah, you're a, a male with a red sports car in California. Here's, you know, X, Y, Z rate. By changing your gender, it kind of messes with the statistics. And I just, I don't know, kind of a funny observation of anything. I did get a call from my bank and my credit union saying, um, you know, we think we have identity theft. I had to go in physically and, and prove that it was me because they didn't even believe me on the phone. So mildly embarrassing, but I guess at the end of the day, I should be thankful. So I, they're just trying to protect me, make sure I'm not my own crazy ex-girlfriend or something like that. I don't know. Four, as a female in today's society, at least in America, I'll specify that, you're generally more emotionally free. You should definitely just try and break that that stereotype as human beings. Still to this day, a lot of men are, it's like they're looked down upon for being, you know, weak, for showing emotions, for crying. And it's just, it's really sad to see that. But that's definitely one thing I recognize since transitioning, people are a lot more, you know, empathetic to me when I am feeling emotional. I really didn't get that before. I'm grateful to experience that, but I also kind of feel more bad for, for you know, men. And I hope that you know, society can change that soon. So that's definitely, I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing that I noticed. Hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll change soon. I mean, if you're a guy and you're emotional, I mean, that's a good thing. And pro tip from the ladies, it's actually pretty attractive when a guy is actually emotionally intelligent and can show his feelings, so. Number three, advertising. Literally, since I went on my social media, like Facebook and Instagram, all that kind of stuff, and you switch the little tick mark from your gender from one to the other, I'm telling you, like the day, when you switch the little marker on your gender thing on your social media, the day I switched it, it went from being advertisements of like a car rims, shirtless dudes, and uh, shaving butter and meal program type ads, a couple nail polish things. You know, I guess they're in it to make money. So, so number two, prices targeted uh, by gender, really. It kind of ties into a little bit to the one I was saying previously with the advertisements. Just tons of needlessly genderized products, like everyday products. Living as a woman, I'm going to end up paying like, I don't know, something petty, like an extra 40 cents a razor just because it's pink. Sorry, I didn't realize that razors were different. Pens for women, like, sorry. I'm pretty sure that I can use any old pen and write just fine. <laughs> It's like they go out of their way to target like flowers and soap that for men it's like gun and wolf's blood and women's is like pretty daisy it's so targeted and strange and it's just it's really strange that they they really just have to add pink and suddenly it's for a girl so it leads to the last one my number one remember no particular order lines and everywhere they're doubled both the positive and the negative lines everywhere the negative side I went to the renaissance fair not too long ago with a friend of mine and I had a great time but if you had to go to the restroom if you're a dude you go to the restroom it's open you just walk in do your business you're good look at the women's line it's like 20 people deep we're gonna be waiting forever I don't really get it I mean I guess in some sense like maybe there's more you know maternal type baby changing stuff Maybe it's because like women scientifically have like a bigger bladder, so they have like more to empty. I, I don't know. Yeah, lines are bigger in general for the restroom. On the flip side of that, twice as bad, it can also be twice as good. So I remember one time I went to the club back in the day. All my friends are getting there to the front of the line and the bouncer's like, oh cool, you know, letting them in. And then it gets to me and I literally had to sit there outside. I was mortified, you guys. I was sitting there outside 
alone when my friends are like clubbing it up and it sucks out here in the city. There's actually a good part of the lines too. You know, you go up there and hey, it's ladies night. You don't know waiting. You get right into the club. The car wash down the street right now where it's like, oh, half off for ladies on Wednesday. Imagine if you're driving through town and you see some barbecue place that's like half off for men on Thursdays. It just kind of goes to show that we have to address to just promote overall equality. But I mean, these are just like a lot of the small little things I notice again, just from the from the lines and the restaurants to the little straps on my shirt. Let me know what you guys think. Keep submitting your questions to me and um, I, I really do enjoy interacting with you. Thank you so much for your love and support. Let me know what you guys think too. Are these things that you knew about? Have you experienced this? Is this something you take for granted and don't think about every day? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.